This is Rummy's Corner. Rummy's Corner. Coming up on July 27th from the O2 Arena in London, England, Juggernaut Joe Joyce is scheduled to square off against Derek Chisora. Personally, I like this fight a lot for where these two are. Chisora has only won two of his last six, but he always comes to fight. And in fairness, there is no shame in losing against guys like former champions Joseph Parker and Tyson Fury, not to mention the reigning heavyweight king himself, Alexander Usyk. Then you have Joe Joyce who lost two of his last three, both of those losses coming against Big Bang Chong who is widely regarded as a top 5 heavyweight competing today. In other words, recent losing trends for these particular guys can be mighty deceptive. The fact is, this is a great matchup for both of these guys at this point in time, where the winner will undoubtedly emerge with a little momentum. Not too long ago, the 38-year-old Joyce was considered by many to be the third best heavyweight in the world. Joyce had a number of noteworthy victories, his most notable being his 11th round knockout against Joseph Parker back in September 2022. That victory put the juggernaut in a mandatory position for the WBO, but after back-to-back -back losses against Zhang, Joyce suffered a huge career setback. He rebounded from those losses with a 10th round knockout against Cash Ali back in March, but his performance was not exactly spectacular despite earning the victory. The 40-year-old Chisora put forth an admirable effort against Usyk when he had first made the jump from cruiser to heavyweight a few years back. He lost a pair of fights against Joseph Parker, where he perhaps deserved the nod in their first bout, then he won a split decision in his rematch with Pulev, and then he lost his third fight against Tyson Fury, that one being for the WBC and Lineal World Heavyweight Championship. In his most recent bout last August, Chisora won a unanimous decision against fellow former title challenger, Gerald Washington. For Chisora, that will be almost a full year of inactivity, but despite being 40 years old, Chisora still clearly provides a big step up in class compared to Cash Ali. So the big questions are, was Zhang just a bad style matchup for the once highly regarded contender? Or has his age, combined with all of the damage he received due to his lack of defensive prowess, has it caught up to him and slowed him down to the point that a seasoned veteran like Chisora will prove too much for him? I think the answer is a little from column A and a little from B. I do think Zhang was a stylistic nightmare for Joyce in hindsight, but I also believe he is slowing down due to his age and style. I honestly believe Chisora is going to perform much better than people are expecting in this one. I think this is a winnable fight for Chisora, in large part because I believe he will have far more success against someone as slow and straightforward as Joyce. To be sure, for all of his faults, Joyce is very heavy-handed, and he is likewise very deliberate and methodical, if not a bit predictable. I think this will actually be a fiercely competitive contest for as long as it goes, and it may well go the duration. But for my official prediction, not only do I believe Chisora will have an easier time evading incoming fire against someone as slow as Joyce, but I likewise believe he will find it easier to land that big overhand right because of Joyce's lack of defense. For my official prediction, I'm going for the upset here, and I believe Chisora will have one last hurrah notable victory before his career ends. I know it's been almost five years since Chisora scored a knockout, but I believe he will stop Joyce Lee. So Derek Chisora by 10th round knockout is my prediction, but as always, what the hell do I know? I ain't exactly Quasimodo over here. But whatever happens, I do believe this is a better matchup than most are expecting, and I'm very interested in seeing how it plays out. Best of luck to both Joyce and Chisora. So who do you think will win? Please share your thoughts in the comments section. Thank you very much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful night. This is Rummy's Corner.
You know, Quasimodo predicted all this. 